what's up YouTube? How are we doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking even if you didn't. I already told you guys a birth story, but I'm a month and a half almost postpartum, so I figured I would do a postpartum Q&A because that's just a ton of questions I had when I was before I was pregnant and then when I got pregnant. Pregnancy and childbirth is such a in the dark thing until you go through it and then postpartum is an even more in the dark thing because people don't like to talk about it it's a whole bunch of you know TMI and things people just don't want to share but I got y'all I'm gonna let y'all know how it is for real no filter all right it's, this is gonna be fun I took to Twitter and I asked you guys ask me your craziest most TMI postpartum questions y'all asked some amazing ones exactly what I was looking for so let's get to it if you see your name in this video give it a thumbs up if you don't you better make sure to follow me on Twitter and turn on those notifications so you know the next time I do a Q&A and you can get in we're gonna see what my my loyal people already asked craziest mom experience with Layla Hmm. She is such a good baby, honestly. Like, we've taken her out a couple times. It's not like we keep her in all the time, and so we don't have crazy experiences. But even when we go out, as long as she's in her car seat, like, she's so happy. And, I mean, she has to be in her car seat because she's tiny. I guess mom fail, I'm not sure, was a couple days after she was born. It was the first time she ever got the hiccups. If you don't know, newborns get hiccups super often, but she never got them when we were in the hospital, and I didn't know that. So she gets the hiccups, and we start freaking out. They were just so strong and I in the back of my mind I was like, yeah, I think they're hiccups, but I'm gonna call the hospital. So I call the hospital and Tyler's calling his mom and then the hospital is super like, okay, um, who are you, blah, blah. After like a minute of me freaking out, they're like, okay, well, we're gonna have a nurse call you back in just a minute. And I was like, okay. And I hung up and um, I realized they were the hiccups because they went away and we never got a call back. How many times a day do you poop? <laughs> How many times a day? That's not the question I thought I was gonna get. Um, like one. Yeah, one. Now that I'm pretty much done with postpartum, I guess, it's a lot easier, per se. The thing is, though, I can only poop if I really gotta go. Like, girl, I gotta be sitting on the couch and I'm like, alright. Let's go. I can't just, you know what? I think I have to go to the bathroom. No, there's none of that. How was peeing for the first month? Okay. For the first time you pee after postpartum, you have to literally measure how much you pee because if you don't pee enough, you have to get uh, a catheter. Ooh, hurts my hurts me to say that. So the first time I peed, I literally didn't pee anything. Like I sat there and, and um, nothing, nothing was happening. So she was like, all right, well, you can try again in a couple hours, but if nothing comes out, then we're going to have to you know, catheter you up and empty your bladder. And I was not about to do that, y'all. So I basically just made sure to drink a ton of water and then it was really easy. Now it's very sore still, I guess. Whenever I pee, I just kind of have to let it go and not push too much because that's what makes it hurt. But yeah, one month postpartum, I still have a lot of pelvic pain, so going to the bathroom is a hit or miss. Sometimes it's really sore and sometimes it's it's like, I never had a baby. How has your daily schedule changed since becoming a mom? My daily routine is basically wake up when she wakes up, which is seven, and then I get to sleep until 11 whenever she takes her nap, so then we sleep again. And then I wake up and, you know, tend to her, and then after she's down, because she doesn't go to sleep after that, I can get anything done. So whenever she's not hungry or something, I have to be cleaning or filming or doing anything else because she's gonna wake up or be ready to eat in another hour and I've got to tend to her. So basically my daily schedule is there's no downtime. <laughs> my one flaw is I like to stay up really late at like until 4am which is like her last feeding so I only get a couple of hours of sleep at night but that's at night is when she sleeps the most it's the only time I get any me time because in the day I'm doing things. So yeah it's impossible to be lazy now essentially and it, it is impossible to be lazy weird but how's the vag i heard it gets all weird after having a baby well i took a look <laughs> i couldn't wait i could not wait i had to, like two weeks after birth i had to take a look for myself and just make sure things were where they needed to be <laughs> and everything looked so good like i don't know and uh personally and my lovely man can vouch everything is pretty pretty <laughs> Everything is pretty situated. I'm pretty much the only one that can feel anything different. Like, I'm still pretty sore, and uh, that's really it. But other than that, I just feel like I had a really good recovery because things just snap back, girl, just like that. Do you ever think about when Layla will be in middle school or high school? I do, and I try not to because even thinking about her as one years old, like, her walking 
she's just growing up too fast but every once in a while I think of her as like 17 years old and <laughs> that's a little much so I try not to. How is emotions going? Good question. So for the first two weeks I was breastfeeding and during that time I had a lot just messed up but it was also right after I gave birth so my hormones were just all over the place. Even now you know I still have my days, I have my moments especially but I feel so much more like myself than I have in the past 10 months it's amazing I can definitely tell that my hormones are almost back to normal which is really great I definitely think postpartum hormones were a lot easier on me than pregnancy hormones just I had a lot more breakdowns and a lot more just <laughs> really bad moments in my pregnancy postpartum I can only count a few on average how many times a night do you wake up with Layla. So she is a newborn, she has to eat every like four hours, four or five hours. She does love to sleep at night, so sometimes if we let her, she'll sleep for six hours at a time, but usually she does wake up like every five hours to sleep, to eat. So we do have her on kind of a schedule. She goes to bed at eight o'clock, wakes up around 11 to eat a little bit, and then she'll pass right back out until like four or five in the morning, eat a little bit again, we usually change her diaper, and then she's asleep until seven, eight. So thank God she has a pretty good schedule and she doesn't wake up just like immediately she definitely knows her days and nights differently but you know she's still a newborn she still gets hungry I've always had the curiosity but I've always been way too scared to ask do you really have your period for like nine months after you have a baby that has six likes <laughs> uh, I actually got this question a bunch of times specifically the nine month period which I have I have heard of that but I just didn't believe it to be true and it's not if you're bleeding for nine months that's something wrong <laughs> so basically after you give birth there is a lot of blood, like you just push a baby out of your vagina. You can't expect a lot. So you do bleed for like six weeks is kind of the average. And you bleed a whole lot and then you kind of stop and then around three to four weeks it gets a lot again and then it'll slowly start going down. Luckily for me, I completely stopped at five weeks which was amazing. I think we're at five weeks now. Yeah. Mmm, my god. So yeah, I've completely stopped at like four and a half weeks which is incredible I didn't even realize but no you don't bleed for nine months after you get birth don't worry do you still throw up even though your pregnancy is over I don't which is literally amazing guys I threw up every single day for nine months and then the fact that I have not thrown up since I've given birth not one time is amazing <laughs> Were you in the hospital when your water broke? If you saw my birth story, yes I was. They weren't gonna admit me and then I went to the bathroom and my water broke and I was in. Oh, is being a new mother scary? Are you worried that what you're doing is wrong? So motherly instinct is a very strong thing that you don't realize until you are a mom. It is scary just because, it's not scary. There's just a lot of questions. You know, she can't talk, she can't do anything and so if she's crying, you have to figure out what's wrong with her. Like you gotta do it on your own. And it's usually, it's only she's hungry she has to poop or she did poop or she's tired but sometimes especially with Layla she cries for no reason like her stomach will hurt and there's nothing we can do about it except for bounce her or put her in the bath which she loves but the great thing about motherly instinct is it's not so scary because you kind of get to know your baby whenever you have her for a month so it's crazy because we can tell the difference between like hungry crying or stomach crying or I just I'm trying to go to sleep that kind of makes a lot of the guessing easier so not too scary what are you hoping Layla's first word to be mama <laughs> I mean of course I don't, I don't know what other word I'd want her to say than mama how long was the process of giving birth so I did make a birth story video I don't think I specified how long it actually was though so when it actually started I was sleeping through most of my contractions at home and then I went to the doctor so I don't really count that first part as labor because I was literally asleep, but actual active labor was from 7, 7, 8, no 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and a half, like 6 and a half, 7 hours. <laughs> Whenever we got to the doctor it was probably like 7 hours from after that, but it was like 6 and a half, 7 hours. Do you want a second child? So I never wanted a kid, never wanted to have babies. I had Layla and as soon as she was born I was like I can't wait to do this all over again not anytime soon definitely not anytime soon I'm definitely trying to have her grow up a little bit have us grow up a little bit but having my beautiful baby girl definitely opened my eyes to a, a little larger family what was the worst part about your pregnancy throwing up every single day I will make a video about this it'll be up next week 
be on the lookout. Did you get your stitches out or did they end up dissolving? So for a really, really long time, I thought they weren't gonna go away because I've heard they're supposed to dissolve within like 10 days, but it was four weeks and I could feel them. But all of a sudden, I can't feel them anymore. So I'm not sure, I think they dissolved. I still haven't gone to my postpartum appointment, guys. It's not until May 4th and so I'm not even at the six week mark technically, but I am feeling really good. It was a really great recovery, so. Would you ever want twins? I could not imagine. It, I mean, it would be incredible to have twins because that is, that's a beautiful thing. Like, what? I just think twins are incredible. But being pregnant, first of all, I could not imagine carrying two babies inside of me. I could barely hold one. I don't think I would mind the delivery, but oh my God, taking care of two newborns at the same exact time, there's no way. Having two parents take care of one newborn is a lot. So having two parents and two kids, that's a lot. And can you even imagine a single mother with twins? That is, I can't. I can barely hold one baby at one time. How do you have two? At what age do you plan on having another baby? We'll say when Layla's five. Give it five years. How bad does your vagina hurt after? <laughs> so you get a lot of pain meds, <laughs> which is great. Um, I def You definitely have to take them as you're supposed to. Whenever I ran out of my actual pain medication, it was in like the third week, and that's whenever your pain kind of gets worse again, which is weird, but I basically just stayed on ibuprofen like crazy, and it really wasn't that bad, just kind of sore every once in a while. I was really sore like the last two months of pregnancy though, the same kind of soreness, so it's really nothing different. Who was with you while you gave birth? Tyler and Tyler's mom. What was your biggest fear for giving birth? I... Well, I had a lot of fears. I was scared for my baby. Like, I just wanted her to come out just healthy. Like, that was all I wanted was her to, for her to be healthy. And I had such a long, hard pregnancy. Like, but the one thing I did tell myself the last couple months of pregnancy is that women are literally made to have babies. Like, we are created to give birth. And so you shouldn't be scared. Like, it's so natural. And that made it so much easier. Like, I just did it and I was like, I'm gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine. Women do this all the time. Does your experience with this pregnancy scare you to not have another kid? It does. <laughs> it de the only reason I wouldn't wanna have another kid is because of how treacherous this pregnancy was. But if you have the condition I had and you get pregnant again, you could have a normal pregnancy and not be sick. So. Keeping that in the back of my mind lets me keep my mind open, you know? But again, it's not for another five years, so in five years, I could be super ready to go through it all again. Do you want to have sex more knowing you have to wait? <laughs> Let me tell you, that first month was really hard. It was really, really hard. Especially because after Layla was born, it was like, I was so much, just had this, I don't even know how to explain it. After Layla was born, I was just so in love with Tyler, just seeing this whole other side of him and seeing just how incredible of a dad he is. Like, the love was insane. And not being able to completely act on that was really hard. But again, I had a really, really great recovery. Um, I'm five weeks postpartum and we're doing it. But we're being safe. Did you have to get stitches after giving birth? I did have to get stitches. I should be screenshotting these, whatever. Did you have to get stitches after birth? I did, but I think I only had like two. He never told me. <laughs> he told me I had a small tear and it kind of felt like two or three, but I'm not sure. Did you poop on the table? I did not. I was so prepared for that to happen. I was so ready to poop in front of everybody. <laughs> when I was going into active labor, I actually went to the bathroom and you know, did that. <laughs> And that's when my water broke. So I think that may have had something to do with it because I went to the bathroom just a couple hours before. So if you can, do it. Like, just try because it, it, I'm so glad it didn't happen to me. I was so prepared for it to happen, but since it didn't, I'm so glad it didn't. Do you want another baby? If so, do you want a boy or a girl? I want a baby boy. <laughs> if we try for another baby and it's a girl, then we're probably gonna stop, but I definitely want to try for a boy one day. Was it nice not having your period for nine months? I didn't even real. no. <laughs> I'd much, much rather have my period once a month than be pregnant for nine months. <laughs> That's just the truth. Do you have to wait a while after birth to get, have sex? Yes. You can't put anything out there for six weeks is 
that's what how long you're supposed to wait depending on your recovery some people you know change it to four weeks <laughs> which isn't bad if you're feeling you know totally fine your stitches are healed then that's good the main thing is your stitches and infection so as long as you know you're taking care of yourself and you're healed and you feel like you're completely ready then you know don't torture yourself for another two weeks but some people have to wait six weeks some people have to wait three months it just depends did you eat the placenta or did you keep the umbilical piece I did not eat the placenta. I don't even like saying that word, that's so disgusting. But yes, we kept her umbilical piece. I wasn't actually going to, and I was like, what are you doing? Like, put that in a bag or something. I was like, you're right, like, we should keep that. So it's in a little Ziploc bag in her memory box. Do you get your period regularly right after birth? I actually had to ask the doctor this. <laughs> so like I said, you bleed for anywhere from like a month to six weeks. It's not your period though, it's literally just like, trauma <laughs> but I think she said you get your period like nine weeks after birth something like that I'm honestly not too sure but I'll let you know whenever I get mine <laughs> how nervous were you to get the epidural I was so 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 nervous I signed off for the epidural like a week before I gave birth because I knew I was gonna want one and I wasn't like nervous about the medicine or anything I was so nervous about moving during contractions and I wasn't nervous until I actually went into labor and when you're having contractions before you get that epidural there's literally no way you can stay still like you can't even think about staying still it, it hurts way too bad but it is so incredible how still you can sit in so much pain when there's a giant needle in your back like once they put that thing in my back I was not moving for anything Tyler was sitting right in front of me I was just looking at him <laughs> in pain like oh <laughs> But let me tell you ladies, that epidural was worth it. I remember my whole birth, like I wasn't drowsy or anything, and I wasn't in pain, so it was just a great experience. Did the stitches hurt? The stitches, now this is gonna sound crazy, the stitches for me hurt worse than giving birth. How is that possible? I'm not sure. They didn't hurt though like that. They hurt more than birth for me, but it was just more of like I could feel a needle going into me, you know? But it wasn't bad at all because I'd just given birth and I was just so infatuated and happy and life was great, you know? So yeah, getting stitches, literally nothing. They just do it while you're just laying there holding your baby. Like, do your nipples constantly leak? So if you're breastfeeding, yes, your nipple constantly, constantly leak. I was leaking from the time I was like four months pregnant on the whole pregnancy because I had nipple piercings and so that's like four extra holes. <laughs> like I said, I was breastfeeding for the first two weeks and then after that I started drying them up. But to this day though, I still leak every once in a while. I mean, I guess it's only been three weeks, but if she's hungry, I am leaking. It's actually the craziest thing. She can be at someone else's house and I know that she's hungry because I'm just flowing. <laughs> That is all the questions I could find. Thank you guys so much for asking some incredible questions. If you did enjoy, give it a like, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite part was. You guys are so incredible and amazing. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you another day. I was going to say I'll see you tomorrow, but I'm not sure. I know I'll see you very soon, though. Have a great one, guys. Bye.